Hey folks, it's Ken Pulse and the Data Monkey back here for another episode of Monkey Shorts. And in this episode, I actually want to show you a really quick tip for setting data types inside Power Query, whether you're in Power BI or Excel. Now, I happen to be in Power BI today, but the same steps work exactly the same inside Excel. So here's the deal. I've actually connected to a CSV file and I've brought all of my data in. But you'll notice I've promoted headers and I did not get a change type step or maybe I deleted it and I want to go and actually lock one in now. Now, this has only got four columns, so it's really easy for me to go column by column and actually change these. But what if it's got 67 columns? Here's what I can do. I can go and grab column one, just click on it, press control A, and then I can go and click on detect data type. That will code me a change type step that locks in what Power Query thinks is the right data type for every single column. And now I can go and override the ones that I disagree with. Okay, so this is more about exception handling rather than actually going through and carefully getting it all right all the way along. So I can quickly go scan it through. Nice. Oh, this one here looks like it should be dates. So I'm going to go and actually change this to a date. And I'm going to replace the current step. Now, one thing to be aware of in this, though, is that up in the top here, we have some indicators that tell us that things are going well or, or not. And you'll notice right here that I've got an error. When you go and apply your change type step, these little green bar previews are generated immediately. And when you change a data type, unfortunately, they don't seem to get a refresh right away. So in order to actually make sure things are valid, if you're going to work in this method, what I would suggest you do is apply all the data type changes, go and override the ones you think are wrong. And then go back to the previous step and come back because that will actually now kick you your little column headers to tell you something's got wrong. I've got an error here. Cool. Now I'm going to go and fix it, replace errors in this data set. I'll just replace it with null and you can see that everything goes back to normal. So just watch out for that. This is a really cool technique for making things quick, but you just got to watch out when you override it that you don't leave yourself in a state where something's not right. Thank you for watching this episode of Monkey Shorts. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to click on the SkillWave logo on the bottom left in order to subscribe to our channel. Or if you'd like to see more videos in the series, click on the playlist tile on the right. And if you'd like to get more comprehensive training, you should definitely check out our website at skillwave.training.